Mother visits her daughter to say goodbye to her find something shocked all doctors. The doctors had to revive the miracle of the Argentine baby when she died and had to be revived by them. Its future is still open. When Luz Milagro suffered a pulmonary hemorrhage, her heart stopped and she was not resuscitated until doctors performed advanced CPR on her. She is still in a serious condition, requiring the assistance of a device to help her breathe and an injection of medicine to keep her alive. However, doctors today revealed that the little girl has started swallowing breast milk, which they hope will further stabilize her and further improve her chances of survival. Doctors at Parando Hospital in northeastern Argentina had earlier declared Luz Milagros Fernand dead after giving birth two and a half months early and showing no signs of life. It caused a worldwide sensation when it was revealed that the law had been declared stillborn, but was discovered alive in a morgue by her mother and father. A few days later, doctors at Parando Hospital in northeastern Argentina announced that baby Lars Milagros Fernand, weighing one pound to one ounce, had died after giving birth two and a half months earlier and showed no signs of life. The baby girl was born with no vital signs and was declared dead by doctors. His bereaved parents have received death certificates. And love his corpse. Placed in a wooden coffin and stored in the morgue's refrigerator for preservation, but loved her mother very much. Analia Boutte insisted on seeing her daughter's body the next night. Her travel companion, Fabian, explained that she wanted to take a picture on her mobile phone as a snapshot. When they arrived at the morgue, about 12 hours after determining the infant had died at the scene, they placed the coffin on a stretcher and we found a small bar to open. Since he was crucified. Denied, Mr. Vernon said in an interview with a local television station that doctors at Parando Hospital admitted they had no explanation for what happened. All medical staff involved in the delivery have been placed on administrative leave until the investigation is completed. I said, I put the crowbar in the gap and started to pry. The cover popped out as I took a deep breath. As soon as Miss Botet touched the child's hand, she heard a cry. According to Vernon, although she says it's all in her head, her baby is alive and well in the hospital. The mother said my baby was born at 10.24 a.m. and was in the drawer at 11.05 a.m. She was trapped in this morgue for 12 hours in the freezing cold. I could see the frost on his body myself. After the race, the frozen child returned to the room. His brother-in-law Vernon described her as feeling like one bottle of ice water on him. The medical staff at the hospital as well as the baby's father confessed that they were confused by the situation. The man said he couldn't understand what happened. The only thing that happened was that God performed a miracle. The parents of four more children planned to name their daughter Lucia, but after learning she was still alive, they switched to Lasma Ligro, which means light and miracles in Spanish. Dental. Miss Booty said her pregnancy went on without incident until she went into labor on April 3, 2013. They first assumed she was born dead, but later determined that she died shortly after giving birth due to her inability to survive the birth of youth. I am not aware of any wrongdoing on my part and I am not thinking about it at the moment. All other emotions were brushed aside with relief to know that she was still alive. That's what I feel like a miracle from God. Because I am a Christian. According to a health official, although the girl's mother claims that she is getting better by the minute, the baby is still in a critical condition, receiving intensive care. In the meanwhile, Parando Hospital has suspended members of medical staff involved in the birth as it begins an investigation into what happened at the time. Hospital Director Jose Luis Moreno said we do not have an answer. Obstetricians, gynecologists, and neonatologists take care of newborn babies. All came to the same conclusion that this girl died in childbirth. He speculated that the baby's coldness may have caused her to go into a state of hibernation, causing her vital signs to come to a complete halt. Health Minister Rafael Sabatini, an ally of Argentina's Chaco region, called the incident shameful and promised a full investigation. Every hired team member has a certain degree of guilt, and they will all have to answer for that, he explained. It was a small creature that weighed less than a pound, 12 ounces, and was as cold as a frozen bottle. However, when she was abandoned for Laos, Milagros Fernan, a one-week-old baby from Argentina, was dubbed the Miracle Baby. The baby was presumed dead after being born prematurely, but she survived for more than 10 hours in the morgue refrigerator before being found alive, the girl's father, Fabian Varon, told CNN on Wednesday. Today marks the eighth day of my daughter's resurrection. This is beyond the understanding of doctors at Parando Hospital in northeastern Argentina, 
who have suspended all doctors, nurses and morgue staff who had come into contact with the infant. While an investigation is ongoing, Lowe's condition in Milagrosa's is stable, although she is still in intensive care. Hospital director Dr. Jose Luis Moreno told CNN that the baby was born on April 3, three months before, and had no vital signs. Marino said the gynecologist at the scene could not detect any signs of life. So he transferred the baby to a neonatologist, who also found no signs of life. Doctors studied the child for a short time before determining that she was dead. According to Moreno, the hospital followed morgue staff's procedure too, then placed his body in a small wooden coffin and placed it in the freezer for a short time. According to the hospital director, until then there were no vital signs. In Vernon's words, Booty became increasingly insistent upon seeing his daughter's body murdered that night. She wanted to take a picture of the baby while it was still asleep, using her cell phone as a souvenir, but despite a bit of persuasion, the couple were finally allowed to see the baby in the room. Mothers sleep in the hospital morgue. Around 10 p.m. According to Varon, it has been 12 hours since the infant was confirmed dead in the hospital. A local news station interviewed Varon, who described how the coffin was sealed and how they searched for a shredder. They put the coffin on a stretcher and we found a small crowbar to open because it was nailed, Varon said the door was nailed. I inserted the crowbar into the gap and started to pry. I took a deep breath and lifted the lid of the bottle. The baby's body was approached by Booty, who stroked her hand and then heard a scream. According to Vorin, she took a step back. It's all in my head. It's all in my head. She emphasized again. However, the infant was still alive and a call from the boy's brother-in-law had the boy returned to the neonatal unit. He held her to his chest to keep her warm. According to her parents, she felt like she was pressed against her body like an ice-cold water bottle. What happened is beyond my understanding. God's work of a miracle is all it takes to share his thoughts in exchange for this dangerous new opportunity, his daughter being given a new name, too. She was originally called Lucia, but after learning that she was still alive, her parents decided that she would be called Los Maligro, a combination of the Spanish words for light and miracle. In the meantime, a formal investigation has been opened at the medical center in question, as Rafael Sabatini, Ali, Deputy Health Secretary for the Chaco region, told CNN. I have no explanation for what happened. However, if there is a liability, we will determine what to do. In a statement it was said that the hires have respective duties, they must be held accountable for their conduct. Sabaton Ali and Marino both said it was the first time. They observed something of a similar nature, but a comparable event actually happened in Israel in 2008. According to Sabaton, Eli, in this particular case, an infant was found alive in a morgue refrigerator after being declared dead by authorities. According to some doctors at the time, the infant's metabolism could be slowed down by the low temperature inside the refrigerator. This child, by contrast, later died. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video on social networks, we will be back you as soon as possible.